world, I'm Kendra Palika, a teacher in the North Battleford community. Arts education is something that's important to me, and I believe it's important to all, even if not everyone knows it yet. Arts education teaches and allows for the building of skills that transfer to all subject areas and positively impact lives. Arts education grows diverse thinking and problem-solving skills, teaches new ways to convey messages, and creates a representation of self and others. What brought me to arts education originally is that it's fun, but also I've realized that it is so much more than just fun. I try to promote the value of process over product. Arts education is essential. It teaches critical thinking skills, collaboration, problem solving, beauty, representation, different ways to show ideas, and so much more. For my community art project, I have chosen the community of North Battleford, and we will be designing and creating concrete statues that represent what the students like about the Battlefords to remind the community the positives that the Battlefords have to offer. This community is often talked about negatively by those who do not live here, also by those who do. And it, hopefully this project will bring our community closer together and remind us that this is a good place to be and maybe inspire others to continue to make the Battlefords a good place to be. Students will learn cooperative skills, creative skills, expression skills, and so much more. I hope to help the students see that they can make a difference through art and that they can inspire conversations in our community. This project will begin by deciding if each K-6 elementary class wants to work on their own or if they wish to join with another class. For example, if the kindergartens want to join up with the grade fives um, to assist in their project and the grade fives also want to do their own, that would be okay too. So each class would have their own, but the kindergarten would have some assistance, which would also grow some leadership skills in grade five. Then they'd start to generate a, a class list of what they like about the Battlefords. Perhaps they will suggest the smiling people, the swimming pool, the splash parks, Don Russ Hill for tobogganing, um, walking trails, the iconic water tower, the boys and girls club, their friends, helpful people, different local restaurants, etc. They will then center on one idea and begin to discuss how they could represent this idea in a statue form. A rough draft will be made and then a final draft to be input into the software program with the assistance of the teacher or a community member who knows the technology. A mold will then be made in a 3D printer and then it will be prepared and filled with concrete with the help of a local concrete business. The statues will then need to be painted by the students. Once the statues are complete, a photo will be taken for the school's records and the statues will be distributed to local sponsors. The hope is that the local businesses who sponsor a statue will display them outside or inside of their businesses to share the messages of the students. These sponsors will be asked to donate um, $150 for materials. One statue will be given in turn for the local cement company for volunteering their time and skills and product. Airtime will also be volunteered by the local radio station to mention the sponsors and the messages that the students wish to spread to the community. Um, this method will also be used at this time to recruit future sponsors for the upcoming year. The time frame for this project is as follows. Sponsors will be gathered the first round so our initial startup date for this project uh, around September, October, and then the classes can begin to design throughout the year as the classroom teacher sees fit. All designs must be printed prior to May. The concrete company will come and assist in the pouring in early May, and that could take up to two days to set. And then the painting will also take some time to set. Before, everything will need to be printed before May to give each class time with the printer. Um, the statues will be discussed on the radio and distributed in early June, as well as sponsors recruited for the next year. As for the proposed materials and budget, the total will be approximately $2,650 for the initial year, 
um, attached is a breakdown of the costs, the cheat sheet, um, curricular outcomes, and links to my resources. This project will help the community as well as students in many ways the, and connect to arts education outcomes across all grades, as well as extend into many other subjects. This project grows thinking skills as well as works to improve the community. This project will serve the community well. Thank you.